His Daniel's lawyer replied Ulisa Agbakuba saying um, G Worldwide is scared. He also stated that there is no new lawsuit between Kiss Daniel and G Worldwide, contrary to a misleading media campaign instigated by G Worldwide. The only two existing lawsuits um, between the parties was instituted about two years ago. So, if I... <laughs> I'm so glad that um, they're settling for um, alternative dispute res resolution, popularly called ADR. Or, um, no, they have not agreed to Is the G Worldwide that, yeah? G Worldwide wants that, but Kiss Daniel's side is saying, if Let you're not court, shady, yeah. why are you not trying to go back to arbitration Me, when you're the one, you are the one who no, took no, us to court? Um, why are you sidelining the judgment? Okay, so um, the reason why I'm going to say that they're going to settle for that eventually because mm. um, the whole court drama and all of that is just a long process. And then secondly, the arbitration thing is part of his contract. So if G. Wall Walsh you insist, it is part of um, Keith Daniel's contract that any dispute they have should be settled out of court. In, they went to court first, right? So we can say that, okay, that's a breach of contract on their part. But it's part of this um, record label contract that any dispute they have should be settled out of court. So it's an opened option for them. So I appreciate that this is going on right now. And um, the way the people said it, like, oh, they're scared. Um, I don't think it's, they're, they're scared of the outcome. Doesn't mean they're scared of pursuing legal action. But it, maybe they're scared of the action in terms of... Um, they're probably scared of the judgment, lose. basically. The judgment, the results of yeah, the judgment. Yeah, the results and all of that. But I think if they have um, the arbitration, I think um, Kiss Daniel will be free to go, um, will be scot-free. And then at the end of the day, um, they said he's not allowed to use even Kiss Daniel or Kiss Daniel, if whichever he one yeah. he wants to use because... Um, Contrary to what people have said, um, there's no new legal action brought before him. And if it's, this is a media campaign, then I'm so worried about um, the form of journalism we practice in this part of the world. Because if this is a media com campaign to make somebody that has an ongoing legal case look bad, then it really makes no sense. And the mm. people carrying this are the ones to blame. Because if you practice professional journalism, I don't think anybody will approach me now like, ah, we are from G Worldwide, man. Kiss Daniel, we need to drag him a little bit. We need you guys to say something false about him on the show. I won't do that. I don't do you think um, G, World, um, G Worldwide will go to um, a media But that's what they're claiming. Body. No, that's what Kiss Daniel people are going. They, are, they probably went there to tell their own story. Do you understand? It's not like and they are going there. They, are, they, won't come, they won't come to you and say, I want you to tarnish um, Kiss Trust Daniel's me, image. Trust me, these things story. happen. I'm just, well, it happens, but I don't think that that's what happened. I, I just feel like they said something to the press and the press will take it as it is but i feel like they should act civil and let the court do the judgment mm. i mean you and went then, to as a professional journalist if someone comes to you with their side of the story it's only right that you follow up with the second side especially when there are other parties involved and that's why we're getting this now yeah which i'm saying <laughs> yeah but then i still want to go back to what you said about um, settling out of court being part of their contract i know i'm not a lawyer but I've had to sign some contracts and agreements, and it's usually standard in all your agreements. They will tell you they can go through these um, processes. Then, if it is not settled, you get to the court of law, right? But if the people from G Worldwide did not think of going through the first, the second mm. alternative, and they jumped first to the court of law, why exactly are you now trying, trying to, to say, no, oh, let's go back to arbitration? I feel like there's something fishy yeah, there. That's my, you know, there's something shady there, it's and, dodgy, and so which is why um, Keith, um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to Keith now, Keith. No, we're going to call him. <laughs> His lawyer is saying, no, we have to be there and, and, let, and the let the court rule. Because mm. you are saying it's a long process, but they've done two years already. How, how, how much long longer is it going to be? And it's not affecting his business. You know, he's doing well, so, so I think he should, they should wait. And I, I think I'm supporting um, Keith's <laughs> lawyer. They should be too. patient. The judge should um, rule and let's see how this goes. I mean, they I'm should not stop sure being have, dramatic yeah. and stop crying to the press. Mm -hmm. Just go to court. You're but like already the first there. Said too, if they really paid some media houses to promote what it, it isn't, then there's a problem. But I also feel like it's a case of giving them something and they find a way to sensationalize mm. it yeah. and click something. That could be what have happened.